Hey guys, if you like the content, please be sure to like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Hey guys, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. Uh, no real big changes to the deck since I last played it. Uh, I did swap out a Renounce the Guilds for an additional Vyashno First Blade just to uh, get a little bit more for the uh, control match. Even though it's a favorable match, I still like having the seven pieces of sideboard to bring in. It's, it's just convenient and nice. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to do some uh, tournament practice. I'm going to do a few rounds of that with the deck just so we can see how it plays a little bit better and uh, just so I don't get snubbed out uh, the first round of like a 5-3-2-2 or something. I kind of want to show how the deck plays a little bit. So, uh, all right, I'll see you in some practice. Okay, we're in this first round here. We have the choice we're going to play first. And yes, this is definitely keepable. Uh, very good, very good hand. So we're going to op open with the temple. Um, we'll leave that on top for sure. Magma Jet's a good one. So we're going to do Ash Sell It. Don't quite know what we're playing against yet. Huh. Discarding a Polycranos. Interesting. Alright, well, this seems like an obvious play, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of doubt he's going to be able to come back from this one. Alright, so he just missed a land drop, which seems strange. It almost it almost seemed like he intentionally discarded that, but perhaps not. Could have just attacked with Mutavolt, too. Instead, we'll just show him a couple Magma Jets. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I'm assuming monsters. And typically mortars is good in monsters, because we're going to have to go up against some Corsair Crew fix. So, we're going to go ahead and bring those in. Um, I think we want to... Well, I, I think we actually don't need the shock. The shock's good on an Elvish Mystic, but I'd still rather have mortars. Um... And then the other cut could possibly be a um, skull crack, perhaps. Maybe even a searing blood. There's really actually not that much that searing blood's going to be able to hit against him. Um, besides something I'm I'm already killing, I guess. Or like a Muta Vault, maybe. But no, I don't think there's a lot of things I'm going to be able to kill with, with Searing Blood, unless he's for sure running Elvish Mystic. Um, I mean, I, I presume he's playing Elvish Mystic, but this I, I feel like I'm probably not going to need it as much in this match, is kind of the way I feel about it. But uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and try this again. I do think the Mortars are very good for because you just need to kill Corsair of Crew Fix. But let's try this again. I guess I don't have that much sideboard for this deck. Hmm. This hand is 
a bit awkward, but having the mortars makes me want to keep it. And even chain to the rocks is kind of like your, you know, your catch-all. I mean, I guess because he's playing the Temple of Silence, I don't know why I presumed it's monsters. It's much more likely the uh, junk reanimator list. But I don't really have any graveyard hate per se. So it could be uh, the Renounce the Guilds is better. But I guess I can kill Blood Baron with Mizium Mortar, so... Um, actually, I should have brought in the Keening Apparitions because of the fact that he's almost assuredly got uh, Whip of Erebus. I think... I think that's going to be more important. So he could Devour Flesh or Doom Blade or Ultimate Price. Or Abrupt Decay, that works. I'm actually... More okay with that than Chain to the Rocks. You know what I mean? Like, hitting a Chain to the Rocks? Because I feel like that's going to be worse for us. Alright, well, good news for us. Oh, wait. Oh, he had the two men in the hand. Okay. So, we get to Mortars, his guy. Which is pretty sweet. We have enough lands for the rest of the game now at this point. Um, sure, I'll take a Phoenix. So we're just going to Mortars and Pass. Even if he's got a second one, we can deal with that. If he has a Polycranos, we can deal with that. Okay, he's got a land coming. He's got a Hero's Downfall in hand. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and Mortars this guy. And then we'll get in with Mutavolt. And at least negate the coarser life that he gained. So he does have the Whip of Erebus, so Keening Apparition is going to be a good tool. And I should have known it was the Junk Reanimator list. I don't know why I was having a hard time with that. Especially since I can't chain to the rocks a Blood Baron or an Obsidot. May have actually made more sense to use the Chain to the Rocks on the second Courser. So I could still have access to Mortars for uh, Blood Baron. Who is a big deal. No doubt. Alright, if he's just using that, it's not a big deal. But it does buy him a turn, but... I'm a little less concerned with that. I've got a skull crack for the eventuality where I'm going to have to use it. So for now, it's really just building board... Scavenging Ooze is pretty good. He's going to be able to hit our Phoenix. So, I'm going to have to get that Phoenix back. Uh, that's cool. That, that's cool. Alright, so we swing with Mutavolt and... Phoenix. And we're going to Boros Charm him. Still saving the skull crack. I guess theoretically I could magma jet as well. But in response to the use, we can get our Phoenix back.
he does have the hero's downfall, so he's going to be able to kill the phoenix and eat it, which sucks, but I actually should have remembered the downfall. I didn't write it down. So I out of sight, out of mind, unfortunately. But I can still take care of the ooze with the chain to the rocks. And he just got rid of his other courser. That makes sense. So we'll just chain to the rocks, get rid of this threat. And then we'll get in with a phoenix. Still have the skull crack for when we need it. And we still have a chain to the rocks for some creatures. Hmm. Braska. So we could destroy Chain to the Rocks. Huh. Kind of surprised he picked that one instead of destroying my Chain to the Rocks. But I guess it does just give him... Maybe it's not necessary. It does, does just give him an ooze, I guess. Um, I guess I should have attacked with Mutavolt there, but I guess I can just double Magma Jet instead, and that's not so bad. Alright, we're still okay. This is a very odd deck, I didn't realize. I'm not sure if those reanimator decks typically run Vraska or Elspeth. But having the Skullcrack here is honestly the real the real ace in the hole is having the uh having the skull crack. We find a War Leader's Helix or something, and I think this game's over. Yeah, because, I mean, we have the Searing Blood, too, so... Actually, I think we just win. So we don't redirect. We deal to him. Gee, two more Magma Jets on top. So I Searing Blood, he goes to five, and then I burn. Yeah, we actually have Lethal. It doesn't matter. Wait, I forgot to use Searing Blood, didn't I? Well, I screwed that up. Forgot to do it. Um, so we'll just kill this. So many different things to attack. Alright, and then we just skull crack him and that is game. Alright. Uh, I guess that worked out pretty well for us.